G'day, this is Scotty Tucker from Clearwater Lakes and Ponds. I'm just showing you this video of a recent windmill installation, a windmill aeration system just in Gippsland in Victoria. And we completed this job about one hour ago and you can see the, uh, the wind here is um, uh, enough to get those blades spinning straight away, which is great. And the principle of these systems is behind that windmill head there sits a compressor and similar to a little aquarium diaphragm pump just on a much larger scale as the blades spin around the compressor uh, diaphragm pumps air and air goes through a hose from the top of the windmill down to the edge of the dam and then it goes into the dam using a self-weighted air hose so it sinks straight down the bottom you don't see it and at the end of that air hose is a couple of uh, diffuser discs in this case we've used two single discs which you can see those on our website and as the air rises, as the bubble rises up through the water, what happens is it brings up the lower levels of water which are void of oxygen. So it destratifies the dam, uh, giving, giving it a uniform temperature throughout. And it also, as that water hits the top and hits the surface, it fans out and has a good gas exchange between the air in the atmosphere and the, the water that's come up with uh, low or no oxygen. And it circulates the entire body of water, aerates the water and improves the water quality. Uh, you may be able to see around the rings, uh, there's a slight ring around the, uh, uh, where the, the boil of water on the surface and that's some of that mucky water coming up to the top. That will eventually die down uh, in the next few days and in time the, uh, the smell that's come up because of that uh, bottom water which is uh, quite still and stagnant and anaerobic which means that the anaerobic bacteria that's working down the bottom in the sediment produces methane and hydrogen sulfide which is why it smells but in a few days once that's uh, cycled through and worked through then there's going to be some good improvements to this pond you'll expect to have a, uh, a better better pond all round, less nutrient available because the aerobic bacteria breaks down the nutrient and out competes the duckweed that you'll see on the surface here. It will also help reduce algae and just it's a very good way of, uh, of improving the condition of your pond. So aeration is always a, uh, a key element to improving ponds or dams and in this case a windmill aerator was a, a very good selection. You can see we're in a beautiful setting here right at the top of a hill. There's always a good supply of wind and although power was there and readily available, uh, Bill chose to go with a windmill aeration system for the benefits of not having any power bills and uh, yeah you can see it's working quite well.